The Nissan Titan might be the most reliable truck remaining out of all the trucks being built, full-sized half tons. Notice I said reliable, not the fanciest engine blowing up, tailgate gap, sunroof leaking trucks. Just a reliable, basic, well, not even that basic, just a stout, good truck. And maybe the best part is, Nissan just threw this bad boy down at 0% for 60 months. So if you're looking for a new truck, you got to have new, you don't want to buy a used truck. This is probably going to be the most reliable and maybe the cheapest truck you can find right now. That's not going to just leave you stranded on the road. And I'm on the cars.com website right now. You can check for yourself. Go look. Some of these Titans, brand new 2024 at uh, Loki Nissan, $37,000 for this SV. This one's at Crest Nissan in Texas, 2024. It's an SV, $38,000. The prices of these are, are coming down a lot, probably because they're the model year's done and, they, and Nissan's announced they're not going to be building the truck anymore. But this, I mean, show me another truck that's going to be reliable for this price. They, they don't exist. These are, these are getting down to the prices of the Frontier. It's crazy. And look at this. I'm seeing Pro 4Xs for... 42,000, 43,000. That's, you know, MSRP 58,000 down to 43. That's a pretty good deal for a brand new truck, a uh, decent four wheel drive package. V8, gonna get decent mileage. It's got direct injection. And guess what? They don't have wet oil pumps in them either. We got chains, old school tech, variable valve timing on the intake and exhaust. And most people know this. I mean, it's a, your standard 400 horsepower, 413 foot pounds of torque V8, 11,000 pounds towing capacity. The XD has 2,360 pound payload, which is pretty good. And the Pro 4X looks nice, has decent off road capability. It's pretty appealing for the price. And for me in a truck, I don't care about like maximum technology and having this massive screen like I see some people just love. It has a big enough screen for me. I just care about CarPlay, Android Auto, just the basics. Uh, it's got tie downs in the back like you see here. It's got, you know, inverter. You can still get 120 volt outlet. It's like it's got enough of the new tech. It's got the newer USB outlets. You know, it's like it's enough for me. And I'd rather them keep the cost down, keep it reliable, build a basic truck that's going to last 200,000 miles than to put all this tech in, you know, put moon roofs in that leak, all these other things and and then have problems down the road. Uh, you got all these other trucks, man. You've got twin turbos. You've got four radiators. You've got two dual water pumps. You're never going to convince me until it happens that these other trucks are going to reach 200, 300,000 miles with just basic maintenance. And probably my favorite thing about the Titan versus like the Tundra or any of these other ones, if these other trucks are so great, why don't they warranty them out of the box for 100,000 miles? Nissan does. You get a five year, 100,000 mile warranty. I see these guys buying these new Tundras and everything, and, and I'm sure they ride smooth. They're they're great till they're not great. And and then they're buying these extended warranties on a brand new eighty thousand dollar truck. So they're spending another fifteen hundred or two grand on these warranties. It's like, what are you doing with your money? But I guess hopefully you're not that guy. And yeah, Nissan didn't sell as many Titans as the other brands have, but uh there's a 2023, no complaints. It's pretty easy to stay reliable when you just iterate on something that you've had in the past, like Nissan has done. They, you know, if you look back at 2000, you remember 2004, they, they were the first ones out with like a, a ladder boxed frame. They built these things like tanks, uh, micro finished uh, camshafts and crankshafts, all sorts of great tech in the engine. And they, they've iterated on that over the years. Um, but people, you know, all these YouTubers are like, oh, it, it's just not fancy enough. It doesn't have the tech. It doesn't have this. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have buttons to control my four wheel drive system. Well, now you guys have all that tech and look at how it's going for all these other manufacturers. And another thing I like about the Titan is they make the XD model, the heavy duty model, which has more payload. Uh, it's a lot beefier. You see a lot of these new trucks, especially like the new Tundra, you put a trailer on them and they literally just bottom out the suspension in the back. They ride great. They ride like a Cadillac, but uh, they can't handle a lot of payload. So I get, it's a balance. Are you a commuter? Are you buying this truck to commute or do you want this truck to work and do some trailer work and, and be able to handle payloads? And uh, I think the Titan XD is a pretty good truck. Probably rides a little more rough. Got the old leaf springs, but that's what you get when you get some... Uh, uh, beefy setup in the back. You can always put airbags in these other trucks, but then you've got the complexity of airbags and, and deal with that maintenance down the road. 
It's the 4th of July, 2024. Happy 4th. Uh, these deals, I think, from Nissan end on the 8th of July. So if you're considering a Titan, go check out uh, some of these deals and maybe even look nationwide, see if, if they'll ship one. Like if your local dealer isn't giving you the deals that you see nationwide, call them up, see if they can give you a sweet deal and, and maybe they'll charge you a thousand bucks shipping and you'll still uh, get a truck that you think is reliable at least out of the gate and you got a better warranty so, i don't know something to consider i think this is the half ton to buy right now i don't care that they're discontinuing them uh, i think it's i think it's reliable people don't have a lot of problems with these when you read forums and reddit and all these other things the national highway safety the complaints and in comparison to the other vehicles i think they're going to be just as good if not better thanks for watching till next time